So if we're fascinated by someone who's telling us something that embarrasses them. Yeah. The that's to be true though. That's true. The person who pretends to be too perfect, mm. who deflects it and says, oh, there's nothing. I'm, I'm not ashamed of anything. Mm. Do we then naturally not like that person? That uh, we will love them if we see why they say that instantly. Okay. For instance, there's a movie. Do you know Jerry Maguire? Do you know the movie yes, at all? Yes, love it. Okay. So when we start out Jerry Maguire, we see Tom Cruise and he's perfect. He's in a suit. He looks great, like Tom Cruise always says. He's an agent. And the very beginning of the movie, he's just as sexy as he can be, but he's at the bedside of one of his agent players. He's an agent, a sports agent. And he's, he's a guy who can't connect with anybody. So we'd think, well, this guy's an a-hole, right? We're not going to like him. What happens in the first two minutes of that movie? When we have somebody like that, we want to punch him hard and make him change. And what happens is, within two minutes in that movie, the little kid that is the, the, the son of the, boy, of, the, of the man who's in the bed knows that Jerry Maguire is a jerk who doesn't really care about his dad, and he says, my dad's got to quit playing football. He's had concussions. Are you going to help him quit? Jerry Maguire says, hey, your dad, nothing could make him quit. Super Troopers, nothing. And he answers his phone, and the kid says to him, hey, you know what? F you. And when he sees that, it's like a slug to the heart. And the next thing we see him do is, I got home that night and I realized my life is a sham. All I'm doing here is for nothing. It's just for money. I've got to change. And he writes this thing called the mission statement. And now we're with him because this is a guy who has been an a-hole. But now he's seen it. He's confessed it to us on the screen and he wants to change. That's why we follow him. So you can take someone who's a complete jerk and you can make us love him if you show this, often through confessional, what his problem is and that he's trying to change. That's how you make an unsympathetic character sympathetic. So many writers get this note back from the producer, you're, you hear he's not sympathetic. That's how you make him sympathetic. You show us his wound quickly. Another quick example, um, if, if you don't mind. Uh, so do you know the movie Superbad? Okay. Jonah Hill, fat boy in it, very unsympathetic, treats girls like meat. Then he confesses to his friend in the cafeteria that when he was a little kid, he drew pictures of penises and he was horribly embarrassed when these pictures came out. And he also confesses to the girl that he's, he's not good enough for her. So even though this guy's a jerk, we're with him through the movie because he's exposed his core wound and we see he's trying to change. Bad movies don't do that. Most movies are bad, by the way. 70 to 80% of films that come out do not have this compelling change. It's my job as a story doctor to try to put that into story because that's, what that's why audiences respond. That's how they respond.